Hello, it's John here for part two of our Earth, Globe, Planet, Material Effect. So if you missed part one, what we did is we created three textures that are going to form this material. So I'm just going to, oops, import them now. And you are imported as a normal map, that's fine, but I'm just going to revert you because I want to control you myself. And I'm going to right click to create my material. So I'm going to call this earth underscore mat for earth material. And let's open up our material editor. So inside here we're going to need to import our three textures. And let's give ourselves a bit of space to work. So this is going to be our land. You are going to be our normal map, and you are going to be our atmosphere. So let's start up here with our land. So the moment we've come through as white, we're going to need to make you green. And we're going to do this with a vector parameter. So I'm going to double click in here and get a nice dark green color. Cool. We're going to need to combine these together, and we're going to do so with a multiply. So we can right click and type in multiply. You up here, you up here, keep organized and combine you together. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself actually. So what we've got as well is we've also got a opacity mask on here. So we're going to need to create another multiply. So I'm going to hold M and left click and combine you with your opacity mask. And I'm going to bring you into here and you into our base color to create our initial thing to create, get an idea about initially what we're looking at. Cool, so there we have it. We have our land and that's come through looking pretty good. So let's grab all you guys and let's create a comment, we'll just call you land. And that way we can sort of drag you out over here. Alright, so over here we have our normal mask. And this one's going to be straightforward. We're just going to drag you straight into the normal mask. And what this does is this should give our land a sort of seemingly a bit of depth without us having to edit the actual the actual sphere, the, the, you know, the actual mesh. This will seem like we've got a bit of depth in our land, like it's got a bit of mountain range. But I try to keep it quite simple in Photoshop just because we're not going to see too much detail if we're going to look in from this planet from a distance. So let's see how it turns out. Cool, look at that. We can sort of see like ups and downs, Do you know, the seemingly mountain ranges of Russia. Go way down, have a look at Australia and across to the Americas and jolly old England. Cool. So our normal map is doing its job and it's doing a good job of it. Good job normal map. Okay, so now we've got our atmosphere. This is going to be both a sea and a cloud. So what we're going to do is same as before, we're going to create another vector parameter. So we're going to hold V and we are the big blue planet. So let's create a blue and we're going to combine these guys with a multiply. So you miss the multiply come up here, you miss the multiply go over there. And what we're going to want to do again is just we're going to put these in a comment section and we'll call this atmosphere. Cool, let's bring you over here then. Alright, so now comes the interesting part where we add them together. So we can right click and just type add or hold A and bring them together. And from a multiply over here, let's bring you over there, get rid of this multiply, bring you over there, bring you into our base color. Awesome, so we've got our planet looking pretty good. 
looking pretty nice. We can't really see the clouds too much, so we'll try and bring them out a little bit more in a minute. But let's for now drag on our panners. So what we're going to do with the panner is this is going to be our movement left. So I'm going to set this at a really low number because it's going to move really slow. And I'm going to create another panner. And this one's going to be for our atmosphere. So we can either do that or we can press Control W. Bring down another panner. See here with the box. And you go over there. And let's set you to 0 0.1. And now what should happen is we should have what looks like our atmosphere moving around on top of it. And then we should also have our land moving underneath a bit slower. Cool, so we have our Earth. And that's looking pretty good. I feel like what I would like to do though is make the texture a little bit darker. I'm just going to bring it up in Photoshop and just give it a quick tweak. Make it a little bit darker, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. And let's file save that. Re-import that in here. And cool. And as you can sort of see, we have now got this glow effect going on. I'm going to try the emissive again though. So instead of bringing you up today, you're going to go in here and the emissive is just going to come from here. Awesome, so there we go. We now have our atmosphere layer of the top of things. We've got our no map in there and we've got our land. Let's save that and try it, see what it looks like actually inside the game then. Just going to create a quick sphere. Bring you up. Scale you up quite vastly. Kind of raise you up a bit more again. And let's drop this material on there. So, yeah, there we go. We have created a sort of dynamic looking planet which looks really cool. I mean, possibly it'd be worth playing with the emissive, bringing up the emissive bit more, maybe putting a multiplier on it. But I am happy enough with that. That looks quite cool. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Hope you've learned that. It'll be um, a fun one to play with. Thanks for your time.